Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles uh, that are tangent to each other as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the center for this uh, bigger circle is A whereas the center for this uh, smaller circle is B and moreover this code CD is tangent to this uh, smaller circle and the length of this uh, code CD is uh, 8 units and furthermore uh, these centers A and B are uh, collinear. In other words uh, these centers are on the diameter. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on the radii of uh, these uh, circles. Let me go ahead and focus on this uh, smaller circle. This is the radius of this smaller circle. Let me go ahead and represent uh, this uh, radius by lowercase r. Whereas uh, this is the radius of this uh, larger circle. Let me go ahead and label that one as uh, uppercase uh, R. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big uh, circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square. So therefore this uh, area for this uh, big circle is going to be pi times uh, capital R square. And likewise the area for this uh, smaller circle is going to be pi times lowercase r square since the radius for this smaller circle is lowercase r. And now we can see that the area of this uh, green shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big circle minus the area of this uh, smaller circle. And we already know the area of this uh, big circle and the area of the smaller circle as well. So therefore the area of this green shaded region is going to be simply pi r square minus pi lowercase r square. And we can see pi is in common so I can factor that one out. So we simply got pi times uppercase r square minus lowercase r square and now our task is to find the value of uh, uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square to figure out the value of this uh, green shaded region and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, radius of this uh, smaller circle and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore in our case uh, this angle between this uh, tangent and the radius is going to be 90 degrees as well. And now let's focus on the radius of this uh, larger circle. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if the radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius bisects the chord. As we can see that uh, this uh, radius uh, is perpendicular to this uh, chord. So therefore this radius is going to bisect uh, this uh, chord CD into two equal parts. The total length is 8. So therefore this uh, side length is going to be half of that one that is going to be 4 units and likewise this length is going to be 4 units as well. So therefore our this distance CE turns out to be 4 units and now we can see that these two line segments are perpendicular to this chord CD. So therefore this length is going to be equal to this uh, length. If the length of uh, this one is uh, lowercase r, so this is going to be lowercase r as well. So therefore this uh, line segment AE 
equals to R. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, two points A and C. Let me go ahead and draw a straight line. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. And we can see that this AC is the radius of this uh, larger circle. And this is represented by uppercase R. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle AEC. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg our side c. I'm going to call this leg a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, uh, a is uh, r, b is 4, and c is uh, uppercase r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be r square plus 4 square equal to uppercase r square. Now let's go ahead and simplify. So we got r square plus 4 square is 16 equals to uppercase r square. Let's go ahead and move this lowercase r square on the other side. So therefore we are going to get uppercase r square minus the lowercase r square turns out to be equal to 16. And now let's recall from our previous step uh, the area of this uh, green shaded region equals to pi times uh, uppercase r square minus uh, the lowercase r square. And now we figure out the value of this uppercase r square minus lowercase uh, r square which is equal to 16. So therefore I am going to replace uh, this part uh, by 16. So therefore the area of uh, this uh, green shaded region is going to be simply equal to 16 times pi square units. So therefore this green area is going to be 16 pi square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 16 pi square units. And if we plug in, in this uh, pi value then the area of this green shaded region is going to be approximately equal to 50.27 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.